Thank you very much. Uh, I, I'm here just to give you a very brief overview of uh, the Upkill uh, Consortium, uh, uh, which is basically uh, an Erasmus Plus strategic partnership, and it consists of eight partners. Uh, we are sort of leading the project at the University of Malta, but University of Belgrade, University of Bologna, Clarin, um, University of Graz and University of Rijeka are also partners within the Erasmus uh, Plus uh, uh, Consortium. Uh, and uh, we have also two equal partners who receive different funding from Movetia, the Swiss funding, uh, uh, they get Swiss funding, University of Geneva and University of Zurich. Uh, what we are basically trying to... Oh. Okay. So it doesn't seem to be working. Yeah. Okay, it is now. Um, so, uh, the aim of the project uh, is that what we wanted and, and, and how the project began to begin, like what the uh, driving force behind the project is, is that we want to tackle skill gaps and mismatches in students of language related disciplines. So, not just linguistics, but also languages, translation, and whatnot, uh, to create a better workforce. Um, and the rationale for this is that uh, graduates of this sort uh, are very often needed and increasingly being needed uh, in research jobs or industry jobs that have to do with processing language. Um, but they often, you know, it's, it's, it's often noted that they lack sometimes uh, critical thinking and problem solving skills. Um, they also lack, uh, and we're talking about undergraduate students obviously here, knowledge of research design and data analysis, uh, project management skills, and digital skills more specifically. Uh, so our aim uh, in this project is to sort of uh, bridge this gap by offering some uh, uh, materials that would be used uh, in this way. So how we're going to do it, we want to offer modular and blended learning material. Uh, which could be used uh, for undergraduate students, uh, student courses at uh, universities or consortia um, across um, the globe, basically. Uh, we want to uh, make our learning materials uh, fun and more interactive or uh, more, you know, uh, more student engaging by employing innovative pedagogies such as educational games, which is one of, the, um, um, of our main uh, foci when it comes to developing the material. Uh, and we also want, we, we are also devising this material so that it's uh, more uh, task-based, that they involve more task-based learning rather than uh, lecturing, uh, traditional lecturing. Uh, so we want to establish um, a, a link with real world applications that can also be found uh, in uh, the industry. Uh, and what we also want to make sure is that uh, we don't leave out uh, existing research and research infrastructures uh, from our teaching so that students are also aware of different um, um, uh, you know, developments in the field. So. Yeah, it's taking its time, it seems, to change slides. Okay, so what our activities are, um, basically we finished, we, we recently finished in June 2021, we finished our needs analysis, which was the first stage of our um, project and which uh, sort of will lead our more general production of outputs. Uh, we also, uh, we are in the process, following this, we're in the process of developing guidelines on research-based teaching. Uh, as a sort of framework through which our learning materials uh, have been developed and will be developed. Uh, we want to uh, further collect, consolidate and create, if, if, if there's none existing, uh, learning content on a number of uh, fields uh, that are relevant to the project. And then we will also integrate educational games in order to encourage active learning. Uh, uh, just as a precursor to like, a, in order to, to, uh, to invite you to this as well, we do plan to have a multiplier event for its intellectual output. The first one uh, already took place uh, in Bologna, but we will also have uh, further multiplier events in Utrecht, Graz and Malta. It's aligned with, with our deliverables. Uh, and I think that the basic culmination of the project will be towards the end of it in July, 2023, when we will hold a summer school uh, in Serbia for students and teachers alike where we will be presenting um, all our uh, materials and piloting it uh, as well. Now, with regards to the actual areas that... Oops, I skipped one. So 
So uh, when it comes to the expected results for the project, uh, basically what we want to do is apart from providing these learning materials uh, that should be helpful for both institutions and students alike, we want to prepare students for the reality of the job market. We also want to sensitize academics, especially in fields, traditional fields like humanities, uh, with respect to what skills employers are looking for. Um, so when there is a strong focus in theory, we also need to accompany this with a, a focus on technical skills or, or digital skills or whatnot. We want to also raise awareness among employers that uh, graduates of linguistics and language related degrees um, also have the skills that may uh, require uh, at the end of the day. So they don't just need to be looking for I don't know, computer scientists or whatnot or engineers uh, specifically, uh, but they could also expand their pool of potential um, um, employees uh, to include uh, our students. Uh, we want to promote active, that is task-based and research-based learning, and also create engaging modular uh, learning content that would be obviously freely accessible to everyone uh, as with all uh, EU funded projects. Um, now, uh, focusing on what we're going to uh, uh, you know, to prepare uh, as part of our uh, learning content. Uh, we have some focal areas here. Uh, and these, so what we expect to do by the end of the project is to have dedicated modular um, uh, materials that could be used in the broader areas of introduction to scientific research, analytical thinking and problem solving, project management, uh, theoretical aspects of linguistics, uh, language data science, text and speech processing, collecting data from human subjects, a bit of programming, a bit of machine learning, uh, as well as dedicated uh, materials for data standards and repositories, which I think uh, we will be uh, talking quite a bit about today um, as well. So that's all from my end. Thank you for your time.